I have, I have the video. I'm going to put up the video. He's like, yo, I heard that Meth and Red didn't want to rock with me on Jimmy Fallon, didn't want to rock with The Roots. And he seemed huh? he seemed disappointed. Who told him that? You said who told? No, no, Somebody no, snitched. It was just, no, it was just Ellis the point. is it, snitching. It was just the point of either we wanted the band or we wanted uh, the, track. Ayo, the track. Um, that was just a kind of decision. Like we really just started getting out there promoting it, so we want to get the record across just how it is. And then when it's across, we rock with the band or whatever. But we just now hitting the stage. I wasn't a mind though. I, I my I, for my personal thing, I can't rock with a band. I get drowned out. My voice ain't strong like that. Have you rocked with the Roots before? No, but I rock they shit. Definitely rock they shit, but I can't rock with a band. I would love to rock with a band, but my voice gets drowned out. Well, there, I was listening to the record the other day, and there was one record where my man, shout out to my man Quarterman, was saying he thought it sounded weird because you were mixed so clear. He was like, he was like, sometimes my favorite way to hear meth exactly. is mixed a little more muffled. Like That's he's like, he Rizzi sounds to almost too me. crispy on this record. Rizzi used to do that shit to me all the time. So when I on the album, Rizzi used to do that shit to me all the time. So when I really did start spitting on some other shit, bro, was like, he just doesn't sound the same. Meth doesn't no, no, sound no, hungry. No. Nah, niggas. Cal album sounds like it was recorded in some kind of spongy. <laughs> it, it's so sewer. dark. Like it's so fucking muffled. It's though. like there's no trouble on that album. You know what I mean? It's like okay. it, it's a very dark record. Do you prefer to, the sound to be like that? I didn't. Like, I, look, I'm tone deaf when it comes to shit like that, man. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> yeah, I can't even like oh, like if my vocals is low. Oh. Sometimes I hear it. Sometimes I can't hear it and shit. I really, I I could listen to a song whether it's edited or unedited. I could listen to a song whether it's equalized or not. It, shit sounds the same to me. Only niggas like this nigga right here know he hears shit like that and be like, no fucking way. Shit is too low. Oh, so you're more, you're more, my lyrics. you're the technical, you're the more technical, like hands on one? Yeah. Like he I don't be giving a fuck. I came from fucking the mixtape oh. era. We used to have that little fucking microphone. We used to have that little fucking microphone and shit that go inside the radio. That shit and rock. But fucking and I you did, were good. I did the shit that J Love had on his mix CDs. That's the shit from Riz's fucking apartment. Ice cream, ice cream, man. And no pauses, it wasn't no punch ins, none of that shit. Just all the way through. Thinking the hooks on the fly. Red, when was the last time you touched the turntable? I know you do it for fun. When was the last time you. That, uh, enough show, that right? Enough show. I was ripping it down up there, straight up. Yo. <laughs> and Tony touched a little bit. We don't play on Tony Touch, though, but uh, enough, I was getting down. They got it on camera. Are you in that bitch like how, how long do you DJ? <laughs> how long do you DJ for before you started running? I was DJing at 12.